Hey, what's up, guys? It's Hacks and Max here, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White 2 PO battle, and they've got an OE battle against Do Flamingo. And looking at the team preview, I'm using the same Sand team that I've been using for the past two battles, whereas my opponent is using a Hail team, and in my opinion, his weather uh, doesn't really serve a purpose to his team. I guess his Mana Swine does have the Snow Cloak, or Starmie might have Blizzard, but other than that, that uh, I don't really see a purpose to it. I do know that Scizor and Starmie are quite standard on most offensive Hail teams, but other than that, um, I don't really see anything that can abuse the hail. I guess it's just there to maybe combat these sand and rain teams that have been going, uh, roaming the meta game lately. It does check Polytoad and Tyranitar quite well with its stab, but, and also Sun is less common, so I guess that's why he doesn't need a bomb and stuff, but threats on his end, um, the Latias won't be too threatening just because I do have my Tyranitar, especially the defensive Tyranitar with the pursuit. His Mammoth Swine does get checked by my Rotom Wash, and his biggest threat to his team would probably just be his Scizor, just because nothing on my team can really tap. Take a U-turn or bullet punch quite that that well, really. Um, but I know the game plan for this battle is to take out his Starmie really early on, just because it's his only potential rapid spinner. If we can get that out of the way, I do know uh, Volcarona will take a massive amount of damage from Stealth Rocks, as well as his Obama Cell, which will help me win the Weather War. So let's see how this battle goes. I'm leading off with my Scarf Genesis as he needs with his Mammoth Swine. I'm obviously just going for the U-turn first turn, not want to lock myself into the Bug Buds or anything. And he probably knows this, so he's gonna go for the Stealth Rocks first turn just to get up his hazards. My team really doesn't mind these Stealth Rocks, and I do have a safe switch into my Rotom Wash now, which I can go for the Will-O-Wisp to freely burn it. He goes into his Latias, power printing the Hydro Pump, but at the same time, it doesn't really mind the burn either. But he's actually gonna go for the Double Switch, as he does predict my Bolt Switch out, which was a good plan on his part because Mammoth is immune to it. But here, I'm actually gonna predict his Double Switch again, just because Mammoth cannot take Hydro Pump well at all. It will probably just Oko it, so... I go for the double bolt switch as he does go out into my, his Latias. Good play on my part just because now I have a uh, free switch in. It's my Tyranitar and this Latias is now Pursuit Traps. And um, it almost takes out the Latias with the Pursuit right here. Lose it at 11%. And that is a low am amount of HP in which he can't really switch in to take any of my moves. Especially my Terrakion's close combat. But he does go into a Scizor now. I know I can't take a U-turn from uh, my with my Tyranitar. So I'm going into my Genesect. It does quad resist the U-turn and even then... That does quite a bit of damage, so uh, Scissor might have, uh, might give problems to my team. But here's a question I'll play, he does go into his Obama Snow. I had no idea why, just because Genesis does have the super effective uh, flamethrower and the bug moves. I just went for the flamethrower right away because he did switch it in, so I just thought he wanted to let it die. So I just went for the flamethrower right away, wanted to take out his weather. But um, he does go for the protect scouting, so here I do predict this Latias to come in just as death water, which is why I went for my Latios. We actually go into Starmie to take the flamethrower, and that's not good for me because Starmie naturally outspeeds Latios. So I do know the Ice Beam is coming, and it can take my Latios. So I'm going into my Rotom Wash, which does resist it, and um, I can go for the Hydro Pump. I did kind of over predict, predicting the Mammoth Swine or something along those lines to come in, but he does. We both missed our Hydro Pump actually, which is quite funny. But now I'm going to switch that move, go for the Bolt Switch as. Um, if he did stay, he would have died anyway, and his but I got safe switch it into my Terrakion now because he did switch up into his Obama Snow, and I can really go for the Bandit Close Combat. He does protect just to scout what I want to do, and maybe PP stall, just because Terrakion doesn't only has 8 Close Combat, which is kind of unfortunate, but he knows he can't switch, uh, stay in just because, um, he will lose his weather, but he goes into his Starmie, and look how badly his Starmie took that Bandit Close Combat, that Almost took it out after the hail damage lives with 1%, which is unfortunate for me. But I do know his story would outspeed me just because I abandoned. So, um, he has have one more life or a bit left. He's gonna go for the Hydro Pump, obviously, because it is a stab. And it would be super effective on my Terrakion. I'm gonna go into my Amoongus, which doesn't mind any damage just because of Regenerator. And he's gonna go into his Latias. Good plan, his part, just because he knows he can outspeed and go for the recover. And I can't really kick, uh, hurt him in any way with my Amoongus other than HP Ice. But that does give me a safe switch into my Tyranitar, in which I can pursue trap him, but I'm actually going to be Stealth Rocks just because I knew no his Starmie is gone now, and without any Rapid Spinner, his Bull Corona, as well as the Bomber Stuff, will take a lot of Stealth Rock damage. But the Scissor comes in, that's not good for me, so I'll go into my Amoongus, which is the next best, best thing to take, a U-turn. It doesn't take it that well, but I do a Regenerator, like I said. But he goes into the Bomber, so I don't want to take the Ice-type attack. To go into my Genesect, but he does predict me he's gonna go for the HP Fire. It would have taken out my Amoongus anyway from that amount of health, and it does take out my Genesect, so that was the safe play. And my Genesect goes down, so now I have a, safe, a free switch in into my Terrakion. 
and I can safely go for the Bandit Gulp's combat. I thought he'd switch out, but he actually just saps his Abomination trying to get enough damage with the Ice Shard. Unfortunately, he does get a crit, which means his Mammoth Swing can revenge kill me from that amount of health with the Ice Shard, which sucks, but I'm just going to save my Terrakion for later just because um, uh, it will dent his team quite a bit with close combat. So I'm going into my run, I'm watching predicting the Ice Shard. As um, I'm actually going to go for the rest, as I do know he would switch out. As um, I was at quite low health, and now I can go back to full right away. I think that's going into his Latias. And here, uh, I do know he's faster than me, which will give me switch advantage. He's going to be both switch, as he probably would just go for the recover. And um, that gives me a situation into my uh, Tyranitar now, in which I can also pursue Trap at once again. Uh, but this time he's actually not going to switch out, just because um, he does know he'd probably die. On, upon switching out from that amount of health, as he did see how much he did last time. He's going for another recover as I do pursue him. It uh, doesn't do a whole lot because he didn't switch out, obviously, but I'm actually going to keep going for pursuits just because Latias cannot really touch Tyr Tyranitar without a couple of combines. We just go for the combine right here as I do for another pursuit, bringing that to quite low health, and because he does have the combine up, I do know he would just go for the recover right here, not wanting to switch out. And I also have not revealed that I have the crunch, and this is why. I like running Crunch and Pursuit on Tyranitar because he did not expect that. He probably only thought I had Pursuit, and that means his Latias is at 1% now. And um, again, his, his team is living with 1% quite a lot, but I do know he's not going to switch out just for the uh, attack move just because he died to Stealth Thrust upon switching in again. I'm going to put the Crunch, take him out, and his Volcorn takes massive damage from Stealth Thrust upon switching in. I just stayed in right here to take the Bug Bust in case he wanted to Quiver Dance, but he makes the good play. And he goes straight for the Bug Bust, I do take that. And um, I can kill him off with the Crunch after the Sandstorm damage. Unfortunately for me, I got Flame Body Hatch, but again, it doesn't really matter because I won the Weather War. And Tyranitar did do his job, and I can just let him die to this Mammoth Launch Earthquake. But I'm, I can go into my Road on Watch at a lot full health now after the rest. And I can go for the will o -Wisp. I do miss in hindsight, I could have just gone for the Hydro Pump, but knowing my luck, I would, probably would have missed all my Hydro Pumps because P.O. hates me. But, go for the Ice Shard, trying to get some damage off before he dies. I'm going to go for the will o -Wisp once again, just playing it safe, just because I really want to win the battle. And he's going to put another Hydro Shard, because his burn won't do a whole lot, and I can take him out with the Hydro Pump finally. And his last Pokemon is his Scizor, and um, again, Scizor, I do outspeed Scizor, and he can't take me out from the amount of health I'm at with the Bullet Punch. So I can go for a will o -Wisp once again and burn this physical attacker. And with the burn, he will just forfeit just because he knows. I have three other Pokemon who can uh, finish off the game, especially a Latios at full health and especially since it's burned. It won't be doing a whole lot with Bullet Punch anyway. So that is definitely a good game though, Flamingo. I know the score wasn't very great, but in my opinion, it was a very good battle. Uh, definitely a bit more competitive than the ones I've been giving you guys lately, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Remember that a like and a comment down below is always appreciated. And um, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys later.